Hi, Posh Crew members and fellow YouTube followers. My name is Shaleen, and today we are going to kick off a wonderful training on team branding. I am so excited to share this with you. Um, just recently at PremierCon, I talked about team branding, and I am so, so, so pumped to share more about this with you. So let's start out. My goal today for you is to teach you some simple steps, ideas, and actions to develop not only your own identity brand, but also your team. So what is a brand? A brand is a toolbox of marketing and communication methods that helps to distinguish a company from its competitors or you from others. And it also creates a long lasting impression in the minds of your customers or in your team members. So when we're talking about a brand today, I want to start out with an activity. I love to be active. So today what I'm going to do is flash across the screen a brand or a logo and if you know what it is, shout it out. Jump out of your chair. Get that energy and blood moving because we are ready to learn about the brand. Number one, who knows it? Who knows it? Let me hear ya. That's right, BMW. We've recognized this driving by or maybe you dr drive one yourself. Oh yes, that's him. The Michelin Man. Whew. There are days I definitely need this one in my life. That's right, Red Bull. If there's mommies out there, I know this is a place we love to shop. You got it, Target. Sports fans, let me hear ya. Green Bay Packers. Whether you are a loyal fan of the Green Bay Packers or not, I bet you if you see that running around, you know what that logo slash brand is. And lastly, that's right, McDonald's. Now go ahead, sit down, relax, get out that pen and paper. Let's work together. Isn't it amazing how many of us know these brands by just their logos? It's crazy. We can find these everywhere in our lives. So today, we are going to talk about team building as a leader. But let's talk about what to consider with branding. Remember, we talked about this. Branding is a toolbox of marketing and communication. So with a the toolbox, there's lots of different things that go into it. So no matter if you're branding yourself or your team, there are several things to consider. Let's start out. Who are you? So you are a brand. And when someone mentions your name, what do they say? What do they think? How do you make them feel? Is it positive? Is it negative? You are brand you. And what do people think about you? What do they say about you? I am a girl of action. I love action. So actions are steps. We're going to talk about five steps to your brand, starting with yourself. Moving to your values. What is the foundation of your brand? This is what's at your core. This is what you value, whether it's family, whether it's friendship, whether it's naturally based ingredients. It is your value. It's at your core. Your personality and attitude. Are you a person that sees a glass half empty or half full? Do you tend to go more positive or more negative? How do others view your outlook on things? That's your personality. That's your attitude. Three, passion. Do you love what you do? Do people see it in you? Does it radiate from you? 
I can see those team members. I can see those people that that passion radiates from them. And people are drawn to that. So passion. Do you love what you do? Do people see it in you? Your purpose. We're going to refer to this several times. What are your six words? What is your mission, your vision, or your plan for the future? And why are we talking about you? Because your values, your attitude, your passion are the groundworks for your team. Before you can brand your team, you need to brand yourself. You need to think about six words. What are those six words that if someone said, if you ask somebody, what are six words that when you think of me, you think of, do they say? What six words do you want to represent? And this is the groundwork for where we're going to develop your team and your team identity. So take time, jot it down, ask others, ask friends, ask acquaintances. What six words describe you? And with those words and what you personally want to radiate, you're creating your brand. And from your brand... We are going to create an identity for your team, starting with your team name, logo, tagline, or or slogan. People want to feel like they belong, and this is where it all comes together. We are going to create that identity. And with that, I'm going to give you some great examples. Posh Crew. This is my team name, Posh Crew. So what goes into a name when you're creating a name? Oh, got to show you. There's my logo. There's my tagline. We're going to put this all together to help you create your identity with your team. So what goes into a team name? Number one, you want to create a name that anyone can identify with, whether they're young or old. You want to create that identity that all age groups can feel okay and feel excited saying, yes, I'm a part of Posh Crew. People don't feel embarrassed mentioning that name. Don't use words that people may feel a little uncomfortable saying, I'm a part of uh, that team. It encompasses a large number of people. So you may be a team of one and then a team of two right now, but in time that's going to grow and you want that team name to encompass a large number of people. It doesn't discriminate and it's non-offensive. These are all things that you need to consider when you're developing your team name as guidelines. Next. Let's talk about taglines. Spread your wings and believe was my tagline. Now I'm going to show you other taglines that you may recognize. You may not. Shout them out if you know what they are. Don't live home without it. This can be kind of hard. That's American Express. Snap, crackle, pop. You guessed it. Rice Krispies. Finger licking good. KFC, baby. Where's the beef? You guessed it, Wendy's. And last but not least, melt in your mouth, not in your hand. Yes, m and M. A tagline is just that, a short text, which serves to clarify a thought. The idea behind a concept is to create a memorable phrase that will sum up the tone and premise of your team. So think about it. Create something that is very true to your personality. I wanted people to spread their wings and believe that they're a part of Posh Crew, what they're doing and their passion in it would be able to let them spread their wings and believe no matter what that goal was, whether it was a stay-at-home mom that just wanted to get out for a while, whether it was someone that wanted to grow a huge business. This allowed them to come together with our team, spread their wings, and believe they could do it. So taglines can be a great way to bring that all together. 
team mission and vision statement. This is super important. Remember from earlier, we talked about those six words that describe you. And I also wanted you to go a little farther. What are those six words that describe your team? This is where you take them and you put them into a vision for your group, a team vision, a team mission statement. Ask yourself, what do you want your team to be? And let me share with you first my vision, the Posh Crew vision. To develop leaders with a true passion for Posh and growth of other women slash men in our business. To carry ourselves with integrity, high morals, positivity, and truth. To be the best we can be while sharing our love of pampering. To uplift support and come along the side of each Posh Crew member on their journey to the top. This is our journey. Spread your wings in a belief. You are Posh Crew. Yes, this is so important. This is like the basis. This is where we come back to when times get hard, when I feel that maybe our team's moving in a direction that doesn't encompass our team vision and mission. This grounds me. This brings me back to those core principles, those six things that are true to me, and also I want to be true to our team and where we come back to. It's our values. It's our attitudes. It's our passion. It's our purpose all put into a vision statement. And this can take time. This can change. But this is something that is super important. Those six words for yourself, those six words for your team, what are they? What do you want them to be? Uh-oh, more's coming. Do you know what this is? How about this? Oh, you got to know these. Or him? Or him? Or yes. Finger, melt in your mouth, not in your hand. That's it, M&Ms. Mascots are a type of marketing that allows you to immediately become unique in even the most saturated markets. Posh is growing. Your business is growing. It's going to be, be big. How are you distinguishing yourself from other teams, from other companies? Do people want to be a part of that? Does it, is it exciting? Let me tell you a short little story. So my story began when Posh began because I started on the first day that Posh opened. And my, my mascot started because of the way I felt when I first started with Posh. So I started when their brand was new. So I felt like as a team, I was branding Posh, but my team was growing slow. We were consistent in what we were doing. We, were, we had that vision. We had that passion. We, we just weren't getting there as fast as others. So it brought me back to a story, a story we hear a lot when we're young, the tortoise and the hare. Yes, slow and steady wins the race. It was okay. We were consistent. We were building. We were doing those core things that were important. We may not get there fast, but we were steady in what we were doing. Slow and steady wins the race. But wait, there is more. Yes, this popped up on my news feed. Our team mascot was born. Myrtle the turtle became a part of our team, and I soon found this amazing pink turtle to represent our team and the mascot and become the mascot of our team. This is where our story started, and it continues to grow. The best part of our, our, about a team name, logo, vision, and mascot is that it can change over time. It can start one way and morph into many different things. I love this. Never discourage anyone who makes continual progress, no matter how slow. We were doing, we were doing it with our vision and our passion. And even though it was slow, we were getting there and we were being very consistent. And Myrtle was the perfect mascot for us. Why would you have a mascot? It gives your organization personality. It creates a happy, 
a positive, happy feeling in people. Mascots are there to sell your brand and create a face for your business. And this is a fun way to take your team to the next level. Yes, there he is, Myrtle, the posh crew turtle. And he goes with me on so many trips and so much that I do. You can even see in the background, lots of different Myrtles are a part of just my office space. There it is. I now get tagged in turtles. People, I send turtles for rewards. People pick up turtles. They, they share fun quotes about turtles. The mascots show up all over because Myrtle is a part of our team brand. Team identity. Yep, there he is with the rocket. We are rocking it. Things that you can do to create team identity with your mascot. Set fun prizes with your logo on it or with your mascot. Hashtag your name to develop a, a following. Send t-shirts or make t-shirts, team water bottles, team buttons. These are all things you can do to create that team identity with your mascot, with your team name, with your tagline. You got this. Yes, there's no limit to what a persistent turtle can do. Start today. Follow these simple five steps, these simple five action steps. What do you value? What is at your core? Where are you? Where's your passion? Where's your value? Where's your mission? What personality? attitude do you want to share with others? Do you have a passion? Do you love what you do? Does it radiate from you? Your purpose, what is your mission, your vision for the future? And lastly, what are your six words and the six words of your team? This is where it starts. It starts today and it moves forward. There is no limit to what a persistent turtle can do. Ask my girls. We are growing, and we have a great, great basis, and I want you to be there too. So take time today. Share a little bit with us about what you're doing in your business and how you are growing. There is no, no limit to what you can do. Take time. Share with me your takeaways. Post below if you have questions, and just know you deserve it. Small steps will get you there, and a persistent turtle can do anything. Thanks so much for joining me today. Have a marvelous day, and take time for you. Thanks, guys.